Hi, greetings from Brookfield Hospital. I am Dr. TJ Pradeep Kumar, practicing physician, senior consultant, cardio diabetologist at Brookfield Hospital, situated on the ITPL Main Road in Kundanadli. Decreased postprandial blood sugar indicates a condition which is rather unique. Normally, whenever we have food, we expect the postprandial blood glucose levels to raise as the food that we take contains carbohydrates and normally there is an increase in the postprandial blood glucose levels. But in certain conditions, as a result of certain physiological abnormalities, various usage of drugs and a pathological condition, there can be decrease in blood glucose levels post meal. The physiological conditions are people who had a high carbohydrate diet, there can be an increased insulin secretions and people who are having high sensitivity to these insulins have a rapid drop of these blood glucose levels within 4 hours after meals. So this is usually a physiological condition which can be treated by avoiding high rich carbohydrate diet and a heavy meal. Coming to the pathological conditions, we have certain patients, long-standing diabetic patients where they have what is called as an autonomic neuropathy. This autonomic neuropathy results in an abnormal response of the body to the epinephrine that is secreted and this results in decrease in the blood glucose levels post meal. In a third set of individuals, it can be related to an abnormal release of glucagon inside the body. As we know, insulin reduces the blood glucose levels and glucagon increases the blood glucose levels. But in certain individuals, there can be an inherent defect of glucagon release which can result in a decrease in post-meal blood glucose levels. The treatment for these conditions depends on the cause and we need to identify the exact reason thereby an appropriate treatment can be instituted.